remember if I ever wore this shirt or not, but no, I haven't. Not. No, it's fantastic. I'm sick today, but I came in just for you guys. Aww. And I thought if I wore a t-shirt, it would reflect my comfy mood. Happy New Year! Welcome to the Weekly News. This, I am Eliza. These are the hard-hitting facts that hold you after until you're pretty and won't find anyone better. With me, as always, is my also Roja Archer. My also Roja assistant, Alexis Roja Archer. Hola! Yay! It's more of an electric coral. Um, I was told when I bought it, tomato. Nope, that is stupid. Oh. All right. <laughs> With us, as always, is super producer Brian Grammo. Thanks for joining the show. Happy New Year, ladies. Happy New Year. Looking lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for starting the show, finally. We don't have a television. <laughs> Happy New Year, oh, ladies. Are you nice. drunk? What? Like, is None this, this drunk No, I haven't been drinking since New Year's Eve at all. Okay, I spent at least an hour writing the show today, so it's going to go smoothly. The teleprompter's not working, so I'm going to be doing this the beta way off paper, but it's gonna feel like old times. You know, so we only did like three shows with the prompter, so. Okay, okay, Brian, that's two. <laughs> How many does he get? He gets 10. Oh, wow. Dateline, yeah! What happened? What happened, Brian? Dateline. Oh, you put your hand up and down too fast in the beginning. I just, so I, I need like the up and the anticipation and then the down. <gasps> Dateline! Dateline! Uh, Wisconsin, <laughs> get ready. Wisconsin man arrested, here's your picture, Sunday afternoon, residents complained of excessive drinking and drug usage near Reynolds Park in Madison, Wisconsin. No biggie, people get arrested for that every day. What's interesting about this guy is his name. This man legally changed his name from whatever boring name it was to Bizao Doodoo Zibbity Bop Bop Bop. That is his legal name. Mr. Bop Bop was charged, Sir Bop Bop, was charged with carrying a concealed weapon and possession of drug paraphernalia. Obviously. Look at his name. He was also charged with excessive vowel usage and making people feel stupid for having to say his name. Uh, other offenders of this nature include the Rudy Tootie Fresh and Fruity Breakfast Special and most NFL players. Yes, I'm talking to you, DeBrickshaw Ferguson, uh, Crafonzo, Crapanzo, however you say it, and Chad Ochocinco. Special mention to you, Ron Artest, or as your mother knows you, Meta World Peace. You are a jackass. The good news is, Johnny Depp looks amazing in blue jean. <laughs> Isn't um, that kind of weird? Yeah, that is pretty weird. Also, I was going to say he was arrested for impersonating Charles Manson, because it totally looks like Charles Manson. And then... Or Jesus. Well, Angel Droid said, oh my god, Angel Droid 80 said, oh my god, Jesus is on the news. Oh wait, no, Jesus was black. I find it interesting <laughs> that even in their prison outfits, the Midwest is still behind in fashion. Sweet blue jean jumper. Yeah. Right. Way to be. I don't know if he looks like Jesus or Shakespeare or pretty much every Johnny Depp character or, I don't know, maybe Don Quixote. He, like, that middle part is very 15th century. Yeah, the funny thing is, is in Hollywood, like, if I saw that man in a park drunk, I would just think that he was an out-of-work actor. I would just think he was a hipster, <laughs> and I would make sure I wasn't in Silver Lake. Yeah, totally. Yeah, absolutely. Dayline! Dayline! Hey, no. You have to do it, too, because you're here. Dayline! Dayline! Nice. It makes it sound like there's an audience. Bill Daly uh, departs as the White House. Here's the image of him. Thank you. White House Chief of Staff, first Rom, then Pete, and now Bill. Uh, the President's third Chief of Staff is leaving the position just short of a year. Bill says he's leaving simply because he wants to return home to Chicago to spend more time with his grandkids. Well, isn't that just a big F you to not only Obama, but also his children? Never mind the kids, only the grandkids. <laughs> Goodbye, Bill. I hope you get to keep your stapler. <laughs> that was all I had to say about it. I'm, I don't care. But it was political and it's relevant. We also have uh, a presidential election coming up in November. We've got a lot of Republicans, uh, none of which are really to be taken seriously. After Herman Cain dropped out, I kind of stopped watching. How do you feel? Good. Uh, I feel great. I'm watching the chat rooms, and I think you'll like this. Ass dude says she has better arms than I thought. Eliza's got it together. Who thinks about my arms? Get a fucking life. Dateline! Dateline. Beyonce! I um, I have this picture because, like, who doesn't know what Beyonce <laughs> looks like? All right, fine, a real picture. Beyonce, uh, the best performer ever, my favorite, gave birth to twins over the weekend. Here's something for you conspiracy theorists out there. The baby's name, the, the one of the two, the baby's name, she's upstaging me. Stop it. 
the baby's name is Ivy Blue, okay? People find this suspicious because they believe that Ivy, I-V-Y, stands for Illuminati's very youngest and that Jay-Z is part of the Illuminati. I highly doubt that. Pretty sure it doesn't go John Hancock, Ben Franklin, George Washington, and Jigga Man. Yeah. But it gets weirder because Blue Ivy has a twin, and the twin they named Elub Yavai, which is Blue Ivy backward, which is just shitty for that kid because you're pretty much going to always be in your sibling shadow. Um, it's also rumored to be Lucifer's, the name of Lucifer's daughter in Latin. So I will defer to our Catholic correspondent, Alexis. Is that true? I have no idea. The answer is no. It's not true. Number one, it's not true. Uh, I dare you to find that in the Bible. You can't. I don't even think Lucifer has a daughter. Uh, and number two, I highly doubt that it, the singer of Bootylicious is the mother of the Antichrist. However, I do believe, my friends out there in Streamland, that the Antichrist does walk among us. I went to a credible source, I went to a fanatical right-wing Christian website to look up what the characteristics of the Antichrist are, and I'm going to read them to you. And I think by the end of this segment, we will reveal who I believe the Antichrist is. Uh, the first sign of the Antichrist is, it says, This individual, known as the Antichrist, will be a sinister world leader that shows up during end times. Well, we're closing in on a, uh, December 21st of 2012, the Mayan Doomsday, so we're in the right time space. Uh, he'll be the leader of a ten-unit empire, so there'll be ten people that roll with him. Um, reigns terror for just over three and a half years. Okay. <laughs> Uh, he and his sidekick, a false prophet, will deceive the world. Uh, <laughs> nobody can buy or sell anything without their mark. Um, <laughs> and they will also create an image and all must worship it or die. And so that, I think we have that one figured out. Come on! <laughs> I, not her! I put that thing together for like ever. It's brilliant. Number one mission of the Antichrist, of course, is to bring end times to the world uh, and have everyone worship then. And if you don't, you will be killed. So it could be Justin Bieber because his fans are fanatic. Six Ten G guessed uh, Justin Bieber because his was, fans like, will kill great, you if you say you don't yeah. like him. But it's having met guess. him, very sweet boy. Oh, that's right. You met you met the the bees. No, no, no. He can't take away the shine of this thing that I just did. All right. Those clips took me forever it's to over. put together. It's over. You tell me that Kim Kardashian isn't the Antichrist. I'm not saying she's not, but the joke is over. Just Never trust on. someone with brown job. eyes and brown hair. I don't think that's true. You heard me. Or can you not hear me over your horns? <laughs> All right. Um, so that was it. That was my big thing. People are loving it. Alfred Bot says, that was surprisingly well prepared for Eliza. I did a really good job. And then no one, this is brilliant. I'm going to make that a thing. I'm going to cut that out and put that on the website for like the thing. Yes, I met Justin Bieber. Yes, he touched Blanche. Yes, he touched me. Now what? Yes, you were a little aroused. He's adorable. <laughs> Eliza licked me earlier. I did lick you because you were in my way. All right, <laughs> that's it for Dateline. Now let's get to a part of the show where we talk about important products that you need. We'll start. Oh, right, I need this. Fuck. There we go. There's the graphic. There's Alexis ripping my dog away from me. Alexis, what do you want to tell the people about today? Um, well, my product today came from thinkgeek.com. Are you one of those resilient Asians that just won't admit that the fork is better than the chopstick? Well, resilient Asians. <laughs> well, I have the perfect thing for you. Photo, please. This is the fork chop, three in one. Also, I mean, people are naming it all sorts of things, and it is a titanium. Um, chopstick that you can, I think you get it by the picture, you can flip it over and use it as a fork or a knife while your Asian friends are gone and you need to cut a steak. But good luck not cutting the shit out of your hand. How do they eat steak? They don't use, they cut it and then yeah, they use the chopstick. and then they serve it in the, but I in mean. In the hibachi. Yeah. In the hibachi. <laughs> chopstick. But seriously, like, they're really holding on to those chopsticks. The spoon oh. is so easy. Using dexterity, they are really holding onto those chopsticks. They must know something we don't. I just feel like there's a reason they use them. Like maybe it increases neuron movement to your brain or something. Because I think billion people can't be wrong. I think Good. they're just pissed that we came up with it first, and they just will not admit that we had a good idea because they produce so many amazing things. They're just like, no. I no. bet you the chopstick predates the fork. Western civilization was a little late. Like, while we were all excited about conquering parts of France and England, like, they were already in China going to the moon. Like, those guys have been on it. They've been on their shit. 
Yeah, but that's what I'm saying is that they had the chopstick and then we came up with the fork or the spoon. Honestly, I don't know who came up with the fork or the spoon. A chicken. The chicken came up with it. <laughs> but I think they just were like, no, this chopstick's working out for us. We're going to go with it. Well, we stay. Tra they're all about tradition. Yeah, that's true. So are the Jews. Tradition. Yes. Um, all right, so my I need this product, a departure from the uh, urine heavy products that I've pushed in the past. Urine heavy sounds weird. My product actually doesn't have a name, it's just this. It's this set of hands <laughs> that you so place crazy. on your baby so as to comfort the child so it thinks you're still there and then you can go and take a nap. Um, and there is no name for the product, so I've come up with one. We're going to call it Baby Touchers. Ew. I've completely lost it. That's terrible. But that's it what it is. It's like one of the Sesame Street puppets, like, has kidnapped your baby. It's Look a little creepy. Hands. Yeah, it looks like they're coming out of the bed, but that's what it, you know, I guarantee you it's, like, Swedish or Norwegian. Like, I feel like over there they're very weird about, they have, like, weird infant things. Um, I have nothing to base that on other than that's just the way I feel. And those don't look like American hands. They look like Norwegian puppet hands. That sounds like the name of an indie band, Norwegian puppet hands. Okay. Also, I think it's really creepy that like you just put some hands on your baby and then you take a nap. Like the baby's clearly awake. It's gonna roll over into like knives. It's not gonna into four into <laughs> chopsticks <laughs> chop, if we're lucky. Chop, Alpha chop. Butt <laughs> says a baby toucher in every home. That's right, especially around the holidays when relatives come to stay. Coming up next, we have nerd news where Alexis gets to do something important, who should be shot, and our Pub of the Week winner.